All right. Try to ignore everything but the blue for a minute. So when you do a water cycle, the simplest way is to start with the four main things. You have evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff. That's your most basic water cycle, your four basic steps. Since we're in ecology, we want to add one more that's a really important step. That's this green one over here called transpiration. So transpiration is when runoff is taken out by plants and then the plants transpire or kind of metabolically release that water back into the air. Sometimes you'll see it on a water cycle as evapotranspiration. They'll just include these two words together as one word. But it's a separate process. It's one that actually utilizes plants to get water back into the atmosphere. Now, once you've got this, then you can actually start to add other things to it. For instance, when it comes to water quality, a lot of people that live in outstate areas have wells. That relies on runoff actually percolating or infiltrating into the soil, going down through the dirt and the rock until it gets to a layer where it can't move any further and it becomes groundwater. Then groundwater is either pumped up from a well or where it runs into a place on the landscape where like you have a cliff and the water table's right here. On the other side of the cliff, that water pours out and that's called a spring and it becomes runoff again and it can get back into this basic water cycle. If your precipitation freezes, you can cause it to turn into glaciers. When you have snow stacked up year after year after year, it packs down into ice. It acts, it acts like a very, very slow moving fluid, even though it's a solid, as it presses down from the top, it bulges out on the sides. Those glaciers can then actually sublime or turn directly into a gas where the vapor can condense and become precipitation again, or they can melt and that melt off can then become runoff. So it's back into this basic force. The most important one is the blue one. I want you to make sure that you guys can add transpiration and understand that it's just like a metabolic form of evaporation. It's where plants are giving it off. And then you can add the groundwater piece down here that I have in black or the piece over here that, that kind of outlines the role of glaciers in nature in the water cycle.